Okay, hi everyone. So uh, I'm Abel from Locable. So Locable's idea is actually that we want to expose youth to entrepreneurship through mentoring them in starting a home business. So why a home business? Because uh, you know they are more less costly as well as they are more practical and more hands-on. Uh, you can see the results um, more immediately. So the problem statement we have is that actually we interview over 100 youth and in most of them they actually want to start a business. However, only 5% uh, end up dabbling in entrepreneurship. So why? We went forward and asked, you know, why, what keeps you from doing so? So the leading reasons are because of a lack of knowing where to start, as well as a lack of knowing where to get resources. So these are some quotes, you know, like they don't know where to get um, deliveries from, they don't know where to get suppliers from, and at the same time, you know, they feel scared without a guide as well. So our solution is actually a three-step integrated uh, home-based business guidance platform for youth. So the first is actually consistent of um, sharing and mentoring. So first, there will be a panel uh, discussion by experienced small business owners. And then after that, there will be a mentorship pairing between the mentors as well as the people who attended the session. So we actually ran a pilot trial and we organized a home-based business panel consistent with um, different age groups as well as different industries as well. So we had about 40 attendees and then 75% uh, were actually highly participative where they kept asking questions. So we actually ran like a post-panel uh, post discussion survey. 85% of them felt that their knowledge of running a business increased. 90% of them felt very excited to get paired to a mentor. And then 75% felt more interested in starting their own home business. And 100% of them wanted to attend another dis panel discussion again. So this actually kicked off a few mentorships already on our end. We actually started um, three new youth home businesses from, from what we have done. And then uh, next, actually, the, the part is about guided courses. So we actually have a few um, curriculum that is more relevant to a starting a home business in Singapore. So we want to show you guys a live demo, but you guys can check it out on locable.sg. We have a website. It's a small prototype right now. So what we have is that each course has a structure of learning a bit, and then uh, there will be a case study, and then you can reach out to partners, and lastly, it's a summary. So for example, learn, it's a, this topic is more about uh, operations and logistics. So this, are, this is an example, a bit of a learning. And then next we'll show a case study of a real home business in Singapore. And then afterwards, you know, we show them that the partners that we're currently working with, for example, if the topic is about delivery, we show them these are some of the delivery partners on our network where they can get discounts at. And then lastly, it will be a checklist whereby they go through what they have learned about. So we went, uh, feedback as all the courses as well. So 70% actually found the content highly engaging and helpful and learned things that they, they haven't before. And 60% of them wanted to continue learning and then wanted us to release more courses. And then, you know, we asked them how much they would be willing to pay for the mentorship as well as all the courses. And $10, you know, emerged as a reasonable pr price for all of them. And then 55% uh, actually, actually felt more keen to start a home business after going through the online course as well. So. For the business network, these are some of the partners that we have talked to over the past few months, whether they will be willing to you know, give us a discount when we refer them to home businesses. So currently, these are some of them ranging from packaging to suppliers. So for deliveries, it's a bit special. We work with freelance deliverers. We currently have about 300 of them under our network now. So why is our solution unique? So this is actually an integrated and holistic platform whereby you know, it covers all the way from starting one all the way to holding one and maintaining, making it sustainable. So the reason why this is sustainable is because those uh, youth who become home businesses will, will become home business owners, will also end up becoming mentors as well. At the same time, it is also um, revenue, it is also sustainably, sustainable revenue-wise. So as you can see here, um, the, the youths are willing to give about $10 a month, but a bulk of the our revenue will actually come from the referral fees that we'll get from you know, all the delivery, all the suppliers that we'll be referring more home businesses to. So this is actually our roadmap. So we aim for the end of Q1 2022. We want to start about 24 youth entrepreneurs, currently fulfill about three of them. And then by then we want to release our full scale website as well. And at the end of the year, we want to extend the breadth of our revenue as well. For example, we want to do uh, referrals to scale future courses as well. For example, in terms of baking. And then uh, by then, we would want to have created 200 youth entrepreneurs. And beyond that, we want to expand beyond other countries as well as other social groups such as seniors as well. 
So this, most of our budget will actually go towards the manpower to start building our platform as well as for marketing. So we are blessed to have a diverse team and then some of us actually have started our own home businesses and learned through all these experiences which, which made us realize the benefits of starting one and the troubles of trusting one as well. So uh, join us to support more home businesses in Singapore and create more youth entrepreneurs. Thank you. My, f my first question to you is that why only youth? There are many people who, like just now the earlier presentation speaks about a large number of people who are, have to leave the workforce because of other commitment. So your target groups are much larger. So why you chose to only work with the youth? I would say this is only the start. So uh, our initial market is youth and we are not restricting other groups from joining. In fact, a lot of those are senior citizens as well as those uh, people who are, for example, they are handicapped, they can't move out, they, the only ways they can do is they start a home business. So we are helping those people as well. And they have attended some of this as well. Yeah. The business networks. Yes. Uh, if I understood correctly, not only are they your mentors, but they also become your business partners. So the entrepreneurs can buy services from them as your business. Did I understand yes. that right? Yes. Okay. Um, and in the roadmap, it's great that you've planned this out. It's very good. Um, does the number of entrepreneurs created per year drive your revenue estimate? Sorry, could you repeat that? Does your, the number of entrepreneurs created per year, does that drive the revenue you forecast per year? Um, yes, it will increase the number of revenue as well because uh, they will be using more of our partners, our business network, which gets us more revenue as well, yeah. Just one quick piece of advice. I'm yes. sure you thought about it, but the success rate for entrepreneurs may not be always mm. high. Yes. So you might need a business model to say, if the number of entrepreneurs does not scale up like I want, how can I fundamentally have a constant revenue stream mm. to sustain my business? Thanks so much. Um, maybe I could answer something like that. So for those who, for example, they, they manage to solidify themselves, we actually move on to give them additional revenue sources. For example, we hold expos for them. We hold community classes that helps them to get even, to become, um, to host more, classes on a wider scale so that they can earn more revenue and then that will come to us as well. So in a way, we are not just looking at um, relying on just success, on people starting out to be successful entrepreneurs, but rather those who are already successful and finding ways to scale them bigger. Sir, and a very quick one. If you build a bit of success, consider bringing on a venture capital firm because they can do it as part of their ESG program. And then you will have a partner we will have money and expertise and help you grow. Thank, thanks so much for the advice. I didn't think about that. Thank you. How would Locable be different from existing business networks that are already doing, you know, causes, already providing networking opportunities, um, and already having some of those mentorship um, opportunities available as well? So um, currently, all these sources are actually very fragmented. They actually have to visit them one by one. And not only that, they find it very expensive because you know, as a small business, it is very difficult to get a very cost-effective um, business support. So what we do is not only do we refer them, but we actually uh, how do you say it? We aggregate the demand from all these small businesses and basically create economies of scale for all of them. So that's how we are different compared to those other more segregated platforms. Yeah, this is not really a question, but I thought like there might be some synergies with outside the the, the other team that is looking to pair um, micro jobs with, with like ah, businesses. Yeah. yeah, so just thought it might be useful. Definitely. Yeah. Thank you. Maybe a potential collaboration in the future. Yeah. We have time for one last question from the judges, maybe, or if that's all. Anything else? If not, thank you, Lokobo. Thank you. Right. 
Next up, we have Stickum. 